You want to make a modded server with CurseForge, specifically looking at CurseForge mod packs. If you want to make a server with your own individual mods you've downloaded, we have in-depth guides on Forge, Fabric, and NeoForge, depending on the mod loader you selected, linked in the description down below. Those guides will help you add those mods to your server and get all that set up. But if you want to make a server with a mod pack, we're going to be showing you how to do that in this video, specifically using all the mods 10. There's also a link in the description down below for guides on Prominence 2, as well as RL Craft, because all of those servers are set up a bit different differently, but all the mods 10 is the perfect example of how most modern modded Minecraft servers and mod packs use and make servers on CurseForge. With that being said, we can go ahead and click on all the mods 10 in CurseForge. There's a guide in the description down below to get the CurseForge app if you don't have it. And once you're here, go ahead and click on this little server download server pack icon, this little server icon here. And after a few seconds, it'll open this up and the server pack will begin downloading. Then we can minimize CurseForge here and we can open up the basically downloads folder because that's where this went to and move these server files to our desktop. Then once they're on the desktop, we can go ahead and extract them by right clicking, clicking extract all and click extract. That'll then give us a folder that doesn't have a zip icon on it or anything. It's actually just a folder that we can then use to host our server files. Now, while this is extracting, I do want to mention that this is not going to be a 24 hour server. It's also a bit more difficult to run. You're going to need a good computer and good internet connection to run it. Plus anyone who joins the server is going to be using your public IP, which means they can DDoS you, hit your internet offline, all of that stuff. So with that being said, that's where our company Simple Game Hosting comes in. Go to the first link in the description down below to break down .xyz slash simple to start your very own 24 hour DDoS directed Minecraft server for you and your friends. You can easily add CurseForge mod pack with just one click there are hundreds of mod packs with one click installation you can see them all here search them for example if we wanted all the mods we could see all the mods 10 is here of course but even earlier versions of all the mods what about better minecraft well you better believe we support better minecraft as well with one click installation you'll be playing a server with your friends in minutes there's no need to worry about how different server types and different mod loaders and everything like that all work together it's all taken care of for you at simple game hosting so again first link in the description down below the breakdown to xyz slash simple start your minecraft server this simple way. Nevertheless, with this now extracted, we have this folder on our desktop. We can delete this zip file, open up these server files, and all you've got to do is click on this start server windows batch file. It might not have .bat at the end, that's okay. You're looking for the windows batch file type. Double click on it and it will go ahead and attempt to start the server, but you're going to need to agree to the Minecraft EOLA during this process in order for it to work. You may also need to get Java. We have that linked in the description down below as well. If you start the server and it's like can't find Java, something like that is what it says here. That's because you need Java and it's again linked in the description down below. Now after a bit, it will kind of pause and you'll see here, failed to load EOLA XTXT. By answering true to this prompt, you are indicating your agreement to the Minecraft EOLA, which we can type in true here, hit enter, and it will now accept the EOLA for us and we will be good to go because we do agree to the ULA. Now your server at this point is going to start so we can join it. Now you're the only person that can join at this moment, but it's good to join, make sure there's no lag, things like that, because if there is, well then your friends definitely won't be able to join later on. So I'm gonna go ahead and play Minecraft using all the mods 10. Anyone who joins your server has to play Minecraft using the mod pack that you are going to be basically running the server on. So they'll need to play all the mods 10, for example, through CurseForge in order for this to work. So we'll go ahead, launch this up, and then I'll show you how you can join this server. Server, and then we'll talk about how your friends can join the server. Now to join your server, you're going to go to multiplayer here. You're going to add a server and you're going to use the server address local host. Now again, you're the only person that can join using this. When we click done, it will resolve and we can join in our All The Mods 10 server. We'll see me daily videos. That's my username. We will join on in. It may take a second for things to load in. The first time you initially load into a server, it can take a long time. I've seen it take 10 minutes. Probably won't take that long, but it can be crazy how long it takes. We can run around, make sure there's no lag. If there's lag, which is you on the server, it will 100% lag once you get more friends on the server. I'm generally okay here. I can expect a little more lag because I'm also recording this so it's like a lot going on on my computer here but we can see things are working we've got snails running around all of that stuff and um, yeah we can now go ahead and allow our friends to join but how do we actually do that well I'm gonna go ahead and close out of Minecraft just because of that lag issue I was talking about but in order for your friends to join you will need to port forward there's a link in the description down below to our in-depth guide on doing that it covers everything you need to know start to finish to port forward for Minecraft and Minecraft modded servers as well. So vanilla modded servers all covered and done the exact same way. And once you do that, your friends will join using your public IP, which kind of sounds crazy, but don't worry about it. This guide covers that as well. So this will take you from this point to allowing your friends to join the server and it's linked in the description down below. Enjoy your CurseForge Minecraft server and playing CurseForge mods with your friends. We'll see you in the next one. I am out. Peace.